What's up guys, this is the Roman and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire to my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So, to run off where we left off, we have ambushed a Russian army and we have caught them on the hop. But we've got to be careful because they've got lots of very, very capable melee infantry and we are slightly depleted. But we do have lots of reinforcing foot units, so we need to see how much damage we can do initially and see how well things go. So let's attack. But then create a northern flank option for our armies to go take St. Petersburg and potentially attack Moscow from the north. However, we are getting close to the winter, so we need to be, be aware that we'll start to suffer attrition with our armies in the open field. So the cavalry is at that end. Artillery is good here. Well, generally. Okay, so let's drop some artillery here. Let's drop some artillery here. And let's... Two, three. So let's split the cavalry up. Maybe a tricky one, well, one we have to be careful with. So they've got their cavalry's up at the front, so three full units of hussars. Our cavalry's going to have to be up here to meet them. Potentially with some rifles to get some opening shots off. Might be putting them at risk, but I'm going to have to. And I'm probably going to want to do this something more like this. And then storm them up into position, I think. Okay. Probably gonna lose all my riflemen. Damn, I didn't unlimber. I mean, their cavalry's gonna go on the full length. Okay. How oh, they go for my guns? Sure they are, they're too close to comfort. You are going to get absolutely shot to hell, my friends. Coming from a handy direction. Come on, how it says. Our men are running, sir. I oh, know, can imagine. Thank you. 
bombard the hell out of them. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. Tanks in the rear by Cossacks. Strength is on this is on this flank up here. It's to the over here. So let's keep everyone firing as quickly as they possibly can. Okay, now I'll go after the mount you're going after the mounted rifles. You're okay. You're actually quite safe plink shots over there. Our men are running for To be honest, they've they've did a lot better than I thought they would in that position. Recovery. I'm actually chase after the foot musketeers, let the artillery deal with them. Let's bring these guys back. Properly, they aren't. Charge into the musketeers. Although it looks like I might, I might actually lose a good chunk of them. My screen's just gone black. There we go. Good God. Come on, 112. Of firing. Sir, sir, <laughs> That's just a bush to me. Attack. Let's go in against the grenadiers. Episode. Bit of a mental battle. Let's get the 15 hussars out of the way to chase down the musketeers. It's got my dragoons chopping away at the grenadiers. With some poor 114 bridge on foot, which are they're wavering themselves. Let's take my 
foot unit away. Okay, let's deploy my howitzer. Ah, there are some grenadiers behind us in the woods. Hold fire with my artillery. Let's get cracking because over here is where the goal is. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. I, I care not one iota. Let's absolutely continue. Poor old devils, as the cavalry comes in. Let's hold my howitzer fire as well. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I don't give a damn. We are required to do as much damage as possible to the enemy while we have this opportunity. Especially as opportunities like this come around so irregularly. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Told you before, I don't give a damn. So we are catching up to these guys slowly, because they're tired and we are very tired. So we do run slightly faster than them. As soon as we prod one gets away. Well, as soon as you prod... Oh no, actually, this infantry unit might wipe them out. They did. Ran them down. Like dogs. Decisive victory. Well, it was a bit... It was a bit quiet and stopped talking. <laughs> I get quiet and start hopping around the map much faster than I normally do. Yes, yeah, so it's not, not a bad trade. Push them back north of the river, but they bring up reinforcements. But we have the. You run around us, you cheeky devil. Okay. Nelson, activate. Chase down the Russian army. You go after Stuttgart? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, all. Oh, okay, this is my attack. Um. Oh, I'm defending because they're selling out. That's why I thought I was sieging them. Absolutely, let's fight that. I recognise Savorov, him and his bayonets. And he's going to get killed by a relative newcomer to the British forces. This is what happens, you damn fool. When you play with fire. And because they are attacking, I am more than happy to let them attack. Let's deploy a set of guns up on this hill. Yeah, it's a bit of a bad spot, really. This isn't so much better. Like, up in the middle would be... Yeah, yeah let's move up. Because this ridge line would be... This sort of area would be better. Let's put the Highlanders in the centre. Put three infantry and a Colchester Guard on the... I've been using the wrong artillery unit to base my formation off of. Although, they are coming mostly from over here. 
Okay, so which artillery have I put in this group? I might actually bring you over here. Let's bring the remaining infantry, and Coldstream Guards and Scottish Light Infantry, ready to rush up and deploy on the reverse of this slope. Then let's take my Highlander core instead. No, actually, you're pretty good there. So then this lone artillery unit will probably deploy somewhere here. You guys cover the flank. Good stuff. Horse Guards and British Dragoons on the right. Dragoons on the, supporting Dragoons on the left. General in the centre. Good. Okay, let's get cracking. There's work to be done. It's a terrible position, but I'll sort it out later. Good stuff. So it's you guys that are screwing it up because there's this little this little rocky piece of terrain. Good. Then bring up Mon General. Where is their general? Where's Savorov himself? There he is. And where's the main man? Probably blind. I can't see him. Now oh, there he is. Don't get too used to that horse, mate. I'm gonna blow your ass off of it. Okay, let's speed up time somewhat, because all we're doing is moving in position. And I might even bring a unit of my dragoons over on the left. Ooh, they're firing at us. Yep, the cavalry is advancing, so where's my cavalry? Bring in my dragoons. Militia, musketeers, armed citizenry. Oh. I am an idiot. So it's just the Russian, a guy named Savorov, not THE Savorov, because he's in a Hussar unit. Yeah, so I've scared him off. So let's... Drive my infantry further down the hill. So unlimber our guns because they're taking pot shots at us. Oh no, but this infantry might stay here because it ends up that's the better spot to put them in. Glorious barrage it. Soon to be Maintain the advance. Okay, that might, that might be a bit ambitious, but we'll see.
Yeah, I think that's very ambitious. Let's unlimber my other gun. Okay, so we're opening up. So I've charged the militia to try and buy some time for my foot infantry to get up. It's done a lot of damage, so let's pull through because they're about to get engaged by my... So now rather than my infantry having to charge them, they're point blank. These guys can sit here to, to cover the centre to make sure there's no easy ways they can infiltrate. Good, complete Russian breakdown on the right, on their right flank. No, there's no need to, there's no need to worry my dragoons too harshly, too significantly, too much yet. Let's try and go after their general with my general because they have left him so exposed. Push up to the farmhouse. So being pushed through the middle. Hussars. Bring our dragoons into the mix. Let's go for gold square formation. Now it's to play on my general. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. He is allowed to be under attack. Their general is also under attack. firing. Hit the regiment of musketeers, they're right there. I mean, or don't fire if, it's, if you don't fancy it. Of kills. They're not killing their light dragoons as well, the hussars. Come on, lads. Fancy a 
fancy a pop? Nope, they've completely routed. So let's go through the town. Ah, oh, shame. I thought you guys I thought your square had held. Excellent. Oh no, they have actually formed up a little bit. So let's take... Ah, oh, they're just out of range of my artillery. Shame. Form a new battle line against the re-establishing the re troops. Enemy general killed. These dragoons. Okay, where's my? Let's get my light dragoons up in the mix. Should get my general involved, but right now, not really much of a need. These are veteran musketeers as well. Triple veterancy. So they've actually won some fights, probably against the, the Ottomans or against the Austrians. But sadly, against the equally as veteran Highland troops, this is even a light infantry unit. Smash into the Moscow Musketeers. You smash into the militia. You're very tired, aren't you? Are oh, you just tired? Some more Moscow Musketeers. Too bad you will not survive the night. First horse guards are having their fill. Let's turn fire all off. And let's get my general involved. It's a city battle, so it's not needed, but my general has no experience. So, let's get him some. Uh, ooh. So, you have an enemy over here. These two chaps. Just move. There's no point trying to send them to kill anyone because there is no one. Bar this unit over here to kill. But they will most likely escape considering their proximity to the edge of the battle line. Just two men. Two men from an artillery unit and they're finally... God, just as the cavalry are on their heels. Yeah, they've done it. <laughs> Damn right, decisive victory. So this was the territory that the Russians held directly on our front line. Is our S surrender demanded? No. 
So we said, sod your surrender. <laughs> and they're just still laying siege, which is perfect. It buys us more time. Belgium, do something. You're involved in the Russian war, are you not? Comes a Greek minister. Kingdom of Port. Oh, go on, engage the Russian army. Engage that army. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Stuttgart besieged. Question is, so what have you got? Two units of well, light cavalry. Let's send. They can chase them down. Charles Colville, march east. I mean, at the very least, if it holds them up, then I'll take that as a, not a win precisely, but, you know, something useful to happen. So Olmutz is ours. We need to hit Timothy. Arthur Wellesley might continue to drive. Send him to... Send Wellesley up to Minsk, because I want Wellesley to, to attack the Russian heartland. And if I can get Sigmund Werner this way, then attack Timothy Lobodnin. Lobodnin. Good, because that way here at least he'll retreat eastwards. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Great Britain. Thanks, everyone.